Joystick control settings and tips. Here are four key things to consider when setting up your joystick for a football. Sensitivity, this controls how quickly your players will react to your inputs. A higher sensitivity can lead to quicker turns and faster reactions, but can also make the game harder to control. Find the right balance for your play style. Sensitivity is a crucial aspect of a football joystick control. The sensitivity setting determines how much movement your joystick needs to make to trigger an in-game action. Higher sensitivity can lead to more responsive controls and quicker movements, which is great for players who prefer a fast-paced, agile play style. However, it can also increase the risk of accidental movements and make the game more challenging to control. This allows you to make quick movements with minimal effort. They may also prefer a low pass direction setting, as this allows them to make quick, accurate passes with minimal delay. Lower sensitivity, on the other hand, can make the controls feel more stable and predictable, which is better for players who prefer a more methodical and controlled style of play. One of the main advantages of a lower sensitivity setting is that it provides more control over your player's movements. This can be especially useful when making precise passes or taking shots on goal. Loss of control can be a major issue when you're holding down the dash button for too long in a football. Here's a quick example. Let's say you're trying to pass the ball to your striker, who's making a run into the opposition's penalty area. If you're sprinting at full speed, you might not have enough control over the direction and strength of your pass. This could lead to the pass going wide or being intercepted by a defender. Always try to release the dash button before taking a shot or pass. To avoid this, you should try to vary your speed and control your player's movements more carefully.